Hey guys, on today's video, we are going to do a taste test on the double espresso Dolce from Nespresso. They just released it a few weeks ago and I'm just getting my hands on it. So I wanted to taste test it along with you guys and see what we think. So without further ado, let's get started with this video. All right, so here's the box. It looks, I mean, I think this is a permanent um, addition to their line. So usually when it's not limited edition, it's just plain Jane box. But before we open it up, let's see what their website says. I just got on their website right now and La Cumplida Refinada is out. I'll link that video in the description box because I actually did a review on that one and I love it. So, and I don't think it's different. So in case you're wondering. Okay, so double espresso Dolce is a level intensity five. And it's obviously a double espresso, so you could get two shots of espresso out of one capsule, which is nice. The aromatic profile is malted cereal with a hint of fruit. The aromatic notes are toasted cereal. So overall, I think this pod is a yummy cereal pod, which is nice. But because the intensity is a level five, it's a more like true medium to light roast which can be nice. The hint of fruit doesn't bother me because usually anything with hint of fruit, it goes away with um, with milk, except that Black Forest capsule. That one is very fruity and I don't mind it. But when you have the main component being cereal and then just a hint of fruit, I think we're gonna be fine. Toasted cereal, ar aromatic notes. It sounds really, really delicious. It's mild and smooth. Every time Nespresso adds that word smooth to their description, it makes me very, very hopeful that I'm going to like it because ugh, anything smooth as far as coffee goes is always, always very, very nice. I see the word sweet a lot in their description. Like for example, the Uganda Robusta rounds out the blend of softening its sweetness, but double espresso Dolce remains an ode to the sweet life. And then at the bottom it says exceptionally smooth and it's a dual set on your palette. So yeah, I don't think it says anything else. Sometimes I'll recommend how to use it. This one doesn't. And if you guys are new here, like with my taste testing, I tasted black, then with milk, then with syrup. And sometimes I'll do it iced, but I have had a couple of requests um, from Instagram telling me to try it iced. So we're gonna try it iced today. I might do like a whole recipe, maybe a caramel macchiato, caramel latte type of thing because this just sounds like it would be good that way so that's what we're gonna do but let's open it up and see what this is, almost looks like double espresso chiaro which i have it right here actually this yeah this is chiaro and then this is dolce so very similar more of like a golden penny like color i'm dropping stuff so let's brew this and we're gonna just taste it black and see what it what it is. Here it is. I don't know if you guys can see that. Cool. It smells cereal. For sure. I'm getting that mild fruit scent as well. <laughs> it's funny because now I'm getting all fruit. At first I got a whiff of like that cerealness, but right now I'm just getting fruity. That's so funny. Okay, let's try it out. It's pretty good. It reminds me kind of like Tocanto. I like it. I know exactly what they mean by smooth because Tocanto is not as smooth as this one. This one is pretty good, like easy to drink. I don't remember how I felt with Tocanto as far as it being black, but this one is not giving me any issues whatsoever. But again, I don't drink black coffee, but if you do, this one is pretty smooth all on its own. So I'm gonna froth some milk and then we'll combine it and see what it tastes like with the milk. My Arachino bit the dust. It started giving me like kind of sparks and it started giving like a clicking sound every time I would put it on the base. So I moved on into my Morocco because this one is still an awesome air, um, frother. The only thing is that I was in love with the way I spray painted the Aeroshino and that's why I was using it a lot. But this one is still a winner. And I ran out of oat milk, so I'm gonna use whole milk. But honestly, you can use whatever milk you choose. What's nice about this frother is that it actually has 
two settings as far as froth goes. I'm going to use that on the lowest setting so that it doesn't get too like fluffy because I feel like whole milk as it is gets really, really fluffy. So we'll just wait for that to froth and we'll admire this cup of espresso. It's so yummy. This thing is uh, from the thrift store, by the way. I went to, we have a Habitat for Humanity out here and they always have like these crystal, I think it's crystal. It shines differently than the rest of my cups, um, but it's like a milk pitcher. It's so good. It's so pretty. I like it. Okay, so here's the milk. See how fluffy it gets? And that's not using all of it. It's still, there's still milk in there. Like I said, whole milk always froths super deliciously. And then this is the espresso. Okay. Give it a little mix. Let's try this. It's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty smooth. It's very light though. I, I mean, it's a level five, but it tastes pretty good with milk. I'm not hating it. There's no bitterness. The fruit went away for sure. I just taste cereal notes. Like it's almost like whatever syrup you add to it is gonna work just fine. I like it. I like it a lot. So. I think I think I want to try it with creme caramel because this syrup has been like so good. So this is just a little bit of the of the Monin creme caramel. Just give it a little mix. Let's try it. Yes, this is so good, guys. It's so smooth. I I like it a lot. Let's try it iced, okay? So let's try it iced, shall we? I'm gonna make a whole new brew, so let's just pop this into the machine. So I added a little bit less than a tablespoon of salted caramel while the espresso was brewing. And then this time I added oat milk. The only thing is that with the oatly low fat oat milk, it always looks yellowy to me, even if I shake it. It's just weird. It tastes okay though. I still miss my Chobani zero sugar, but let's taste this latte. It's very light. I think I like it better hot than cold. It almost reminds me of um, Ice Leggero, which is very, very light in my opinion. Some of you guys have said that you think it's strong. I don't see how, but this one is extremely light, but there's still enough coffee flavor. Iced, I wouldn't say it's my favorite. I tend to like something stronger for my iced lattes. But usually for my my hot lattes, I don't mind it if it's like lighter because I feel like the temperature messes with my mind and then makes it seem like it's almost a little stronger than it is. I don't know if I'm making any sense, but ice is not bad. It's just light. And I think it's because the water, the ice is maybe watering it down a little bit. But I usually don't hyper chill my espressos. I don't. I usually just hyper chill the big coffee pots and I never have an issue with espresso, so I'm not gonna like find myself hyper chilling it. And this way, it's not bad. I would try it iced again, maybe with a different recipe. I don't think we have a lot of level intensity fives. Let's let's just see. Okay, so according to Nespresso, like for their terms, anywhere between three and six is considered a light roast. Not bad though. I like it hot more than I like it iced but i wanted to see how many like level five things we have so colombia is a level five and you know what i actually enjoy that one hot as well half calf is a level five but i do like that one iced 
and then they have Volteso and Ethiopia which are a uh, level four Volteso I like but that one is very very light so maybe if you like Volteso and just want something a little stronger maybe go with double espresso Dolce I like the fact that it's a double espresso like they need more double espresso capsules especially considering the price range with Virtual Line but it's not a bad pod it's just very light and I know a lot of you guys including myself I like more of a medium like in between medium roast so this one will have to be like on those days where i just want something extremely light tasting and keep in mind that the level intensity does not refer to the caffeine amount you can have the same caffeine amount in a level five and a level nine or eight whatever you know it doesn't matter that's just the the level of roast how roasted the coffee beans have been and that's going to give you the amount of flavor and like the, you know changes the flavor the the darker the roast the more bolder the more bitter some can be um so if you're a new coffee drinker if you like your volteso your bianco leggero um your ice leggero i think you would like double espresso dolce but if you stick um with the medium rum medium roast rum then i think you can skip this one it's not my, I'm not going to say it's my favorite, but I don't hate it. I actually do like it and I enjoy it um, hot better. The ice is not that bad though, so I'll probably just finish this. Yeah, it's not bad. The flavor's still there. You could definitely taste the flavor even with me adding um, salted caramel. I feel like the coffee flavor is still there, which is, ni which is nice. So hopefully this taste test helped you guys out in like deciding whether you want to try it or not. I actually bought two boxes. I think my husband is gonna like it because he likes Bianco Leggero. Every time I give him Volteso, he likes, he just likes a more lighter roast, which is not bad. So I think the fact that I bought two boxes, which I did, is gonna be okay because if I run out of Bianco Leggero again, then he can have the double espresso dolce. I hope this taste test helped you guys out in deciding whether you want it or not. And let me know, like, are you guys gonna order it now? Are you guys put off a little bit by this whole review because of it being too light let me know in the comment sections i would love to hear your thoughts thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye